Bienvenidos a una nueva edición de Somos Libros, seamos lo siempre. Hoy tenemos un gran programa, vamos a conversar aquí en el marco del High Festival Arequipa 2018 con Kukla Maclehouse, quien es una eh, scout literaria francesa que reside en Inglaterra y eh, quien nos va a contar justamente qué es eso, qué es ser un scout literario, qué es un poco cómo se mueve ella en el mundo editorial europeo, ya que es una de las mejores scouts. Mi nombre es José María Salazar Núñez y aquí empieza... Somos libros, seámoslo siempre, vamos. Hola, ¿qué tal? Seguimos aquí en Somos Libros, seámoslo siempre, en un marco hermoso aquí en Arequipa, en el Hey Festival, y vamos eh, a conversar con Kukla Maclehouse, espero Bravo. haberlo dicho bien, muchas gracias, quien es una literary scout. Please, let's begin with that. What is a literary Liter scout? Okay, a literary scout is somebody who is an informer mm -hmm. and a pointer. Mm -hmm. So we inform publishers in 22 countries, wow. one per country. Mm -hmm. So we have a special, you know, relationship, relationship with one country, with one publisher in a Spanish language with Anagramma mm -hmm. yes. since 1989. Wow. And we, so we inform them on the masses of things which are coming out mm -hmm. and we point to the ones you should pay attention to. Mm -hmm. How do you sort of uh, know when when someone is is is, is great when someone is capable okay. of something that perhaps in a first book it's not there yet totally but it's the big beginning of of something great? Okay, we we are. I mean, we I say we because now we are a yeah. big office. Yeah. We are, I started with you. Know, we were two, and now we are about eight or something. Oh. Uh, So I've been a long time in publishing. I've mm -hmm. been in, I started in publishing in 1975. So we have read a lot. <laughs> and, I, and I also, for 10 years, I was trying to sell French books into foreign markets. Mm -hmm. So that gave me a bit of the idea of what can cross frontiers. Ah, okay. uh, so I'm, my job, I'm, I'm not the one who is going to decide to publish the book. Mm, I'm yes. not the publisher. I'm recommending. Mm -hmm. uh, but I, I, you know, at the beginning we were working only with literary publishers like Gallimard, Enaudi, yeah. Anagramma, mm -hmm. and people like that. Now our market is much more... Large. It's larger and more commercial. So oh, okay. we, we are, we read everything now. Mm -hmm. in, the, in the beginning I read uh, Mostly, you know, more literary books for these particular yes, okay. publishing houses. But um, and yeah, I it's an experience. Yeah, you and know? I feel the, I, f I think well, the more commercial books and a lot of type of books. The criteria is always different, right? Because uh, if if you're going to recommend a book to, let's say, Anagrama, it's not the same thing as if you're going to recommend a book to a, perhaps a publishing house which is not. Uh, as, as, as literary yeah. oriented, yeah. no? I yeah. don't know. So how do you sort of uh, uh, begin to... Um well, the main... Well, it has to have a good story. Yes. Whatever it's literary or not literary. Yeah. Uh, the style is, of course, number one for me. Mm -hmm. But there are books I read which I think this could be anagramma, but it's not going to be intrinseca in Brazil, for okay, example. Okay, yes. Or it's not going to be for our Japanese. <laughs> the one, amusingly, who at the moment are the most, uh, how would I say, who, who buy mostly, mm -hmm. I mean, most titles, yes. in both commercial, but commercial of a high level. Yeah, okay and uh, literary are, are Chinese people. Oh, really? And they translate from all kinds of languages mm. and it's really rewarding for us yes. because they're not yes. only interested in English language books. Mm -hmm. So they, so okay, so, so they do um, Da Vinci Code yeah. uh, or Stieg Larsson, but they also buy Borges That's great. and Modiano yeah. and uh, so it's, it's very, very nice to be working with them. And yeah. I, you touched on that earlier when you say you recognize that uh, cer certain books will not be great in, a, uh, in yeah. a country. Is that something that it's a thing? Is that different? Every market has 
lots of every taste. Market. Every market is different. Yes. I mean, there are, okay, there are books. Funnily enough, the one book which had almost, at that time, all my publishers offering for it, even Anagramma, <laughs> <laughs> uh, was um, a thriller by, by uh, Young. It was a, f uh, a second book, but acted as a first book by a young uh, Swiss author called Joël Dicker. Yeah, Dicker. And it was the, called uh, the uh, Harry Kéber Affair. Mm -hmm. And I think 12 of my publishers offered for it, yeah, well, which was surprising. first time. Yeah. <laughs> first time it happened. <laughs> and not all of them got it, uh, but quite a few. I think I had seven, eight of my publishers. Well. So that was good. But in the old days, for example, um, The God of Small Things mm -hmm, yes. by Arundhati Roy was bought by in those days I worked maybe with 12 countries and seven of our publishers had bought it. But the main thing is that all of them had it on the bestseller list. Oh, wow. Which was quite astonishing. Yes. You know, from Norway to Spain to Brazil, Greece, yeah. uh, all of them got it, or France, at least number one or two or three. <laughs> Wow. on the bestseller list, so that was nice. But I bet that that's something you can't predict, right? No, you can't quite predict, that's true. It's a, something yeah. that yeah. is luck, yeah. isn't it? It is luck, it is yeah. luck. And how do you... Uh, I mean, it is luck. No, you can predict that it, it's it, a work which is totally unusual, that it's beautifully written, yes. that it takes you to a world you discover, so and that you are interested from the page one. Yes. That you can recognize. Yeah, but you can't see the, the, the levels it's, it's going to go yeah, to. Yeah, no, uh, no. And uh, we were talking about that every market is different with these exceptions. Where, where, uh, and we have this idea, perhaps this r romantic idea, that art is universal, right? And that something that sort of uh, works. If I read it and I fall in love with it, why can't a Chinese man in Beijing yeah really but uh, that's not really true is it or or well it is the americans tend to believe that this is the case and that everybody has to read you know all over the world uh, shakespeare uh, da vinci code or yeah. whatever or <laughs> but no it, it's not true you know people like i mean um okay stieg larsen mm -hmm. for example with this was huge in most countries but there are there are I'll take another example, an example of a uh, more literary example. <laughs> when I went to Guadalajara the year Modiano had yes. won the Nobel Prize, the Prize. there were Modiano's piles <laughs> yes. of books in every bookshop. And in England, it wouldn't sell anything. Yeah. And when Modiano won the Nobel Prize, there was one book in print, which wasn't even in print, it was as an e-book. Wow. Um, and in Iran, you had seven Modiano in print. Wow. Or in Vietnam, you had nine e Modianos in print. Wow. So, Sorry. yes, you, ca you, you know, it depends very much on the country, on the country. and unfortunately, the English language is very predominant, and yes. if they decide that something in go is good, then it has to be good for the rest of the world. Yes. Uh, well, it's in politics as well, yeah. <laughs> but it's, yeah, it's, it's not the case. I mean, you know, I, I fight for that. Well, thank you so much. And remem remember, recuerden desde aquí, desde el Hay Festival, somos libros. Siamos los siempre. That's perfect. Thank you. Very okay. Much. Bueno, eso ha sido todo por hoy. Muchísimas gracias a Kukla Maclehaus. Espero que esté pronunciando bien su nombre. Muchísimas gracias a todos ustedes por ver, compartir, likear. Ya saben, estamos en Facebook, eh, en Somos Libros, en Facebook, en CNB, en la página web cnbtvdigital.com, donde colgamos todos los programas que ustedes no han visto, los pueden revisar ahí. Renovamos esa página semanalmente. Nos pueden escribir también a nuestras fanpages, al inbox, adelante con dudas, recomendaciones, pedidos, lo que quieran, como, como una radio. Estamos ahí para ustedes, como ustedes están para nosotros. También eh, 
me pueden seguir a mí en Instagram en arroba José María Somos Libros. Mi nombre es José María Salazar Núñez y ya les debería quedar claro a estas alturas. Conmigo será hasta la próxima, pero mientras tanto recuerden que somos libros y seámoslo siempre.